Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Hatters TV. Now today on what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the January transfer window. Now in this video what I'm going to be talking about is what players should be leaving the club in January and what players we need to bring in for the squad for us to try and get the, into the playoffs for this season. Now in my mind there is a few players that I think need to leave the club but also we need to discuss about their future because I don't know what future they have at the club whatsoever. Alright the first player what we're going to be talking about in the January transfer window video is Craig Mikel Smith. Now obviously he's trying to gain back fitness from obviously breaking his foot I think it was against Plymouth so obviously we're he's looking at we're trying to bring him back into the squad but I don't know if he's actually part of Nathan Jones's plans. Now we have seen him like on the bench recently but he hasn't really started a game recently so is he actually part of Nathan Jones's plans if you think he's part of the Nathan Jones plans obviously drop a comment down on the video if you believe he is but I don't think he will be and I do reckon he will be get he will get released at the end of the season but will he be loaned out to another club from January to the end of the season I don't know but it's a possibility now another player who's recently who's been on loan for us is Alex Gilliard now, basically, he's on loan from Newcastle. He wants to have first-team football at Newcastle. That's his ambition, but unfortunately, he isn't getting that. Now, Newcastle are willing to loan him back out to like to League 2 clubs or League 1 clubs. So, it's up to Alex Gilliard if he wants to join us on loan or permanently sign for us. Now, I do know that Carlisle United do want him back and they want him for the rest of the season. I don't know if they want him on a permanent deal, but I do hope Alex Gilliard actually chooses us over Carlisle. I don't know if we're going to sign him on a permanent basis. I do reckon we will get him on loan from now until the end of the season, which I do hope because he's a fantastic player. If he does come on loan to us for the end of the season, I do reckon he may join us at the end of the season because we're gonna, hopefully we're going to be playing in League One and hopefully Newcastle will get promoted to the Premier League. If Newcastle don't get promoted to the Premier League, I do reckon... Newcastle, he may have a chance at Newcastle's first team, but if he if Newcastle do get promoted, I don't think he will have any chance of getting in that first team. So it's whether or not if Newcastle will get promoted, to be honest, and if we get promoted as well. If we get, if we are a League One club at the end of the season, I I'm really confident that he will sign for us for the League One season. All right, another player who's been around. For a really long time now, a lot of people have been questioning why has he not been starting? And why has Nathan Jones or John Steele given him a chance? And that is actually Zane Banton. Now, I've seen Zane Banton, every time I've seen Zane Banton play, he's absolutely proved himself that he should be in the starting 11. So this clearly means he's got an attitude problem or it's not just, it's all just not trying hard enough in training. Because obviously he's got all the talent in the world to be in the first team, but he's just I don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going behind the scenes. So I he's one of those players which the fans are asking why has he not been given a chance yet? So I do reckon Zane Banton will get a loan deal from now to the end of the season. I, I do believe he is out of contract as well at the end of the season as well. So basically he needs to do something from now to the end of the season to be awarded a new contract at the club but he does need to show something because I think he's an amazing player but he's just right another player what we're going to be talking about who's a norm is a first team player but hasn't been getting any first team action recently is Josh McCoy now I don't rate Josh McCoy as a player whatsoever I do believe he isn't a player who is good enough for League 2. Despite his record, he's played in the Championship, in League 1, in League 2 himself. He has played higher up. He just doesn't look like that type of player. I remember when he joined the club, um, and I remember him saying, I am a natural goal scorer. I came to Luton to score goals. I don't know how many goals he has scored, but I do believe it's under the 10 goal mark. So, really, he needs to start bucking up his ideas up. But I do reckon he will be getting a loan deal because... He hasn't even been featuring on the bench recently, so I do reckon he's going to get a loan deal from another club. Maybe he may actually go to non-league. I don't really know, but he does need a loan deal. He needs to get some match games. He needs to score some goals elsewhere because he isn't doing it at Luton. And then finally, the last player what we're going to be talking about is Mark O'Brien. Now, obviously, he was transfer listed at the start of the season. No clubs actually put in a bid in for him. It's really hard for clubs to put in a bid for a player when they're on a two to three year deal. So, 
Obviously, we're trying to loan him out, but uh, hopefully he goes. Obviously, I, I didn't feel he was that bad of a player. Every time I saw him, he was okay. I didn't. He wasn't amazing, but he wasn't bad. So obviously, I hope Mark O'Brien gets a decent move for him. But I feel for the lad because obviously you don't want to be at a club which you're not wanted. So that is it for the players which I'm talking about. Now I'm going to talk about what players we actually need to bring into the club. Now obviously. Since the start of the season to now, there's been a problem with the midfield. And I've been saying this for weeks and for weeks. There is a problem in the midfield. And it's where Oli Lee is positioned. Now, we either put Glen Ray there or we put Oli Lee. I don't think we need to put Glen Ray there. I don't think he's experienced enough to play in that role. I actually prefer Sheehan to play in, in the central defensive midfield role. Because I think he's got the best ball control and the best composure for for a player at our club. I don't think Oli Lee is good enough. Apparently he's the best player in the um, at the club which I do not agree with. I don't understand why Paul Hart came out in the interview and said that cuz he isn't. So I believe Sheen needs to uh, either put Sheen in the central defensive midfield role or go out in the January transfer window and sign a player who can do that role. Because clearly, we in our midfield, we don't have no one. We don't have no one who can defend and protect the defence and we have no one who can actually drive forward and create chances. So we need a central defensive midfielder who can actually do that. The problem with our midfield is we've got a lot of youngsters. The most experienced midfielder we've got at the club is Jonathan Smith. So, and he can't even get in the team. So our most experienced midfielder can't even get into the team. So that just shows you we need to bring in an experienced central defensive midfielder to come into the club who's going to protect the defence and help us create goals as well. Obviously that is really hard to do. So maybe finding a lone player who can do that to the end of the season or try and find a player who doesn't want to be at his club or who is out of contract so it's going to be hard and it's a big ask but I do think a central defensive midfielder is massively needed if we could bring in a central defensive midfielder and Alex Gilliard in the team I do reckon that would be enough I don't think we need to expand on the squad even more I just think we just need to make one or two signings to make our squad even better because with the amount of players we've got at the club, I just don't think we need to bring in any more. We've got the quality. It's just we just need to f like fill the odd bits or pieces in the squad. So, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Also, drop a comment down below if to tell me what players you think we need to sign in the club and what players do you think we need to get rid of as well. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe to Hatters TV. And I'll see you guys in the next video.